All right, so we got some breaks tonight. Trying to get into a couple hobby boxes. Um, uh, just got back from Tahoe. Uh, posted a couple videos while we're up there. Um, hit a pretty cool card shop on the way up there, teammates. Um, and then on the way back, we didn't catch them, but um, we got back uh, a couple days ago. And um, just, you know, thought it'd be a good time for uh, some more card uh, rip, some more <laughs> ripping some more wax. So anyways, um, tonight we're going to rip a couple hobby boxes. We've got these two guys right here, uh, the Stadium Club hobby boxes, one of my favorites. Uh, these cards are sweet. Love the photographic detail. Um, and then uh, we also have the... Um, Bowman Chrome. So we're gonna do a couple videos uh, to break it all up because I know these things get long. Um, do a lot of talking, so I apologize uh, for that. I just kind of enjoy going through each card and kind of appreciating what what comes out of the pack. So um, uh, the cool thing with the Stadium Club is that you're gonna get two autos per box, which is pretty dope. Um, I bought you know, I don't know how many blasters you from Target and Walmart, you name it, and I've yet to hit an auto in in those blasters with stadium club uh but here obviously you're gonna get a couple um so that's always guaranteed so there's always some that fun to that i think we got a couple pretty decent autos from the last go around um to check out the previous videos um you'll probably notice i got a, a sweet bat here kind of hicking it in the background i just got all my baseball equipment ready we're gonna we're set to play some baseball uh coming up here tomorrow so i like to get my equipment ready the night before so got some cleats all cleaned up ready to go um the bat the bat brings good luck to the rips uh the rips bring good luck to the plate so you know how it works being a baseball player some of you guys um get the get the karma the juju what we're looking for so anyways um i won't talk too much more here before we get into the pack so in fact i'll start ripping these this one up in right now um but yeah uh you know, it was a really cool trip with the family up at Tahoe. Um, spent some time up there. Got a cabin. Um, got to rip some cards, which was really cool. And um, now we're back. We're back home. Um, and uh, looking to do some damage tonight. Let's see what we can get here. Like I said, really enjoy the Stadium Club product. I think it's amazing. Um, and, uh, you know, the photography is just second to none. So, give me one second. Sorry about that. Okay, so we're back. Need to find a place to drop all these empty packs once you get them. So, of course, Target bag works the best. <laughs> Let's empty this thing and then we'll get in there. Awesome. All right. Um, so. Let's open this up. Top loader. Top oversized box. Um, yeah, and a uh, shout out to my uh, my buddy over at KS Bats. And as you can tell, um, we got the stick back there. It's a pretty sweet bat he made for me. Um, I'll show you guys a little bit later. I'll give you some more detail on it. But uh, full custom bat. Um, you know, playing a men's hardball league. And uh, I haven't found a better quality, more durable bat out there. So um, shout out to my boy, Matt. Matt Cooper at KS Bats for hooking it up. Sweet, sweet, sweet bats, man. If you're ever swinging a bat, uh, you gotta check those out. If you ever find yourself on a baseball field. So here we go. Let's get in. Okay, so we got Mr. George Brett, Bruce Hooper, BP, 
We got a Willie Castro rookie. I love to keep the rookies. It's kind of one of the one of the benefits of doing this. A lot of you get a bunch of rookie cards, which is um, always cool. Listen, you never know. Mr. Carl, the granddaddy, Carl, Carl Yastrzemski. And then we got a, oh, we got a black foil, Aristis Aquino. All right, not a bad rookie card right there. Be a keeper, Aaron Savali, had a good year with uh, Cleveland. Another rookie, and then Mr. Big Poppy. Awesome. Okay, rolling right along. All right. Oh, I haven't seen this guy. TJ Zook. Oh, is that even how you pronounce it? All these stadium club cards. It's a new interesting rookie. I don't see any numbers. Okay. Uh, McCullough Jr. had a great year. They, Houston, adva uh, Houston Astros advanced to the ALCS, huh? A lot of people are pretty uh, interested in getting what's going to happen here. Personally speaking, Fuck the Astros, <laughs> but whatever. Ever to each their own. Uh, Jacob DeGrom, sweet, sweet photography. Look at this David Dahl, this is dope too. Jorge. All right. We got Victor Robles, insert. To Brian Reynolds. The stadium cards are kind of sticking together. And uh, a Felix, a king, opted out this year. So, hey, you know, like I said, to each their own. But, um, he still got, he still got some tread on the tire. We'll, we'll hopefully we'll see him next year. All right, moving right along here. Rafael, great, great photo. Love it. Here we go. Yu Chang, rookie. And this this uh, box has got some sticky cards in here. So there's an auto sticky in here. We know we got a couple, so. Chris Sale, piecing out. Cool card, cool photo. Logan Allen. Logan Allen, rookie. Mooks, Mookie Money Bag Bets. Um, I thought that was a short print, but it's not. I've got like 50 of them. <laughs> uh, Mike, Michael, Mr. Trout. J Ram. This dude just crushed it at the end of the year. Um, and then just fell asleep on the playoffs. I mean, dude, you got to do it on both sides of the, you know, so. Got to do it in the regular season, got to do it in playoffs. And then Clevenger in the old attire. And he didn't do have much of a showing in the playoffs either, and that's why they got that guy, right? All right, rolling right along. Oh, okay, here we go, the captain. Been out of the league for a few years, but hey, it's always cool to see that dude. Sayonara picture right there too, which is cool. Brousseau, man, if they gave out MVPs during the um, uh, MVP awards during the ALDS, this guy would have one, right? I mean, that that homer he hit last night against uh, Chapman was huge. Uh, I mean, I you know you kind of saw it come in right the way baseball writes the script sometimes is like this dude gets buzzed, um, you know, 102 mile an hour fastball near the dome during the regular season comes back the next day hits two bombs you know and then all all the all the chips are on the line this guy against chapman you know bottom of the eighth inning uh, 100 mile an hour fastball middle in and he just he takes some bridge so shout out to mr mike Rousseau for for you know keeping the keeping the underdogs alive um you know hey yankees more power to him but this this card 
Probably jumped in value too, actually. I'm gonna throw that in the sleeve right away. Oh, look at this, right after him. Mr. Yankee himself, huh? Mr. Garrett Cole. He pitched a hell of a game last night too. I was watching and, and uh, what, I think he had like eight or nine Ks. Um, you know, they went to the pen. I would just say, you know, it was a 1-1 game. You know, he gave that bomb to Meadows and uh, that's where it was tied, right? Judge hit the first bomb and then and then Meadows came back the next inning, hit the, hit the bomb in the fifth. He did his job, man. It's cool. Kept the Yankees in the series, obviously. And um, unfortunately for them, they, it, you know, you're going to have to come back next year. Oh, what do we got here? J oh, this is a dope card. I don't think I've seen one like this. A Stadium Club Chrome. Uh, and we've got the, I've got the bigger one, actually, right here. This is a little different than, if you look at it, it's a little different, but it's a chrome. It looks like it's, I don't, this might be an error card, man. Look at that. That's different. Look at the edges. That's interesting. Hmm. I'm going to throw that in the sleeve immediately. I don't think that's intentional. Uh, some kind of weird, the fact that it's a stadium chrome card is, a little baffling to me but i think the bottom got cut off and it's on the top and then it's kind of got a little bit of a lean like slight edge that's weird man weird not numbered stadium chrome anyways it's kind of a bummer i don't know um i don't know if it's worth anything but whatever it's not not a big deal still still a cool card I like that card all right, and we got, oh, Lazardo. Hey, this, this rookie's making things happen. He's pretty much the ace right now for the A's. Uh, being, a, you know, Bay, from the Bay Area myself, you know, rooting for the A's. I was rooting for the A's, you know, through the Houston series. And um, at the end of the day, you know, Houston, their bats came alive. You can't deny that. Those guys can hit, obviously, and they hit any ballpark. Doesn't matter if they got the signs or not. Um, but, uh uh, you know, Oakland will be back next year. I mean, they, they won the West this year. Super, super happy to see that. Um, they got some, you know, they got to the ALDS and, and it wasn't, uh, the outcome that we all wanted. They hit the, they hit the ball, but Houston hit. And I think the pitching was really the, the challenge. So hopefully Lazardo is, um, you know, here to stay for a while. And what we saw this year was, uh, what we're going to see in the future. Um, no hard feelings, Houston Astros fans, but I think you y'all y'all get the the gist of what 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 us folks out here in the West how we feel about about you guys at this point. Um, Mike Mustakis, cool. E Mart, the goat. Love that guy, man. I I used to when I was playing ball, I that was my swing right there. I mirrored him and A Rod. Uh, Gritchick. Oh, that Victus bat is sick. I like that. I like that wood, the flame-tempered wood. If you look at that a little closely, if you ever get a card like this, take a look at that. That bat is sweet. Neon grip. I'm all about the, the detail when it comes to baseball. Love it. Mr. Kyle Hendricks. Tough run for the, for the uh, Chicago Cubs this year. Couldn't get through the Marlins. But, um, you know, next year, guys. We got uh, Mr. Abraham... Toro, rookie card. Oh, no. Hopefully this ain't what I... Okay. All right. Not bad. A red red foil. This guy got lit up this year. Tough year for that kid. He's like a top prospect for them and just couldn't get it together. And every... And I mean, pretty much everyone on the Marlins got a shot. It didn't matter where you are with COVID. Um, Mr. Listella, that's, uh, that's funny that he's actually sliding into Oakland now, player. Now he's playing for the Oakland A's. At least for this year. I don't know if they... Got his contract. This guy had a good year, right? Rookie of the year candidate, all potentially in the American League. All right, going right along. Okay, we got a uh, Austin Nola traded traded to the rookie traded to the San Diego Madres. Padres, my bad. Um, uh, Padres, hey, hey, guys, you got to beat the Dodgers, right? Um, Bregman, love to hate him. 
Love to hate that guy. Um, Max, kept dog. Freaking this guy. Just drops bombs. <laughs> uh, Anthony K. Don't know too much about him, but rookie card, so you never know. Uh, Zach Granke taking a hack. Not happening anymore. I, that DH rule is is here to stay. I doubt they're going to make any changes to that. That was one of those things that felt like it's it's stuck. Um, which is good. I think you, you look at that, there's some perspective there you got to kind of absorb, right? A lot of us are traditionalists and we feel like, hey, let them, let the pitchers hit. But at the end of the day, you're taking away someone's job that could be in a DH role. And you saw a lot of guys come out and, and really make it happen as DH is in the National League. So, hey, more jobs for everyone. I think everyone's happy. Pitchers don't need to hit. I'm over it. <laughs> Um, so no, another another card guy had a pretty good year. The Twins and Will the Thrill. I love this card. This is the sick card. Wonder where he was headed. He just dresses like that every day or what? <laughs> um, moving on. Man, these cards are. They must have been in the storage or something because they're sticky. I don't, I don't know. I know the stadium club, They you gotta store them. Any of the ones you wanna keep, you gotta store them right, cause they, they, they'll stick together. So Penny sleeps all day. This guy, dude, American League, Cy Young winner right there, most likely. You'd imagine, you can imagine that. Uh, another Jordan. Um, oh man, this dude, amazing year. Had an amazing year at the dish. You know, I know it's only two months, Two month, two month season, but this dude just crushed it all year, and uh, really is, you know, I wouldn't say single handedly put got the White Sox into the the playoffs, but I mean yeah, that that division's an interesting division. Um, but I mean, dude, this dude for sure AL MVP, right? That's what you think, um, Larry, Larry Jones, Chip, Chip, cool card, gotta love it. Uh, Harvey, Ricky. Oh, here's another Oakland lefty, Minaya. He actually came through. Yeah, I think he was on the injured list a little bit, and then a little rough start to the year. But yeah, after after he kind of, he showed up and and was dealing. And you know, dude doesn't throw like upper nineties. Um, doesn't have a lot of like you know velocity, but. This is just one of those guys that you pitch, he puts the ball where he needs to and and gets outs. Um, not a ton of strikeouts, but hey, that's how you play baseball right there. Cool card. Good year. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Trent. Trent Grisham. We don't, as, as a Bay Area baseball fan, can't really like this guy right now. Um, kept the Giants out of the playoffs with that walk-off homer. That was the one that we needed to win that game. And, and this kid made sure that didn't happen and walked it off at home. Um, it was interesting, actually, the Giants had uh, rescheduled the game uh, against San Diego from the whole COVID situation, which the Giants played at home, even though San Diego was the home team, they played, um, they played in, in Oracle Park. And, uh, you know, you get to the bottom of the ninth and, you know, you figured, hey, we're up by three runs, two runs. Um, bullpen kind of put somebody on and boom, next thing you know, this guy's hitting a walk off ding dong. So, uh Padres didn't get that far as far as they I'm sure they wanted to get in the seat in in the playoffs but you know what that's a young, good young team right there and we're gonna have a lot of competition in the West Giants ain't looking too bad if they keep the playoff format the way it is I don't think they will um it's kind of like you know people with under 500 records getting in but you know it'll be interesting it'll be competitive this dude had a pretty decent year right for the Mariners shed long Cool card, cool. Uh, De Jong, got Didi, Sir Didi, gotta love him, especially uh, out there in Philly doing his thing, filling those shoes from Jimmy, Jimmy Rollins, another Bay Area native, Sheldon no News, Noise, I never say his name right. Um, watched him play a little bit, a couple times in Oakland. Uh, John, this, this picture is just freaking me. I, I know I, I've said it before, but it's just, this picture just freaks me out. <laughs> Dude that did the Photoshop there was like, what? Um, 
Oh, here we go. Byron laying it down. Gotta love it. Uh, this dude had a breakout year. Man, this is that. This is the kind of year that, you know, they've been expecting this guy to have. Any play center field. I mean, man, it was, it was a good year for him. Um, another stud rookie. I don't know this guy's story. Obviously, he came he came over from playing Japan, uh, baseball overseas. I don't know whether it's Taiwan or Japan, but he can he dominated for the Cardinals. Man, it was like their number one next to Wainwright. Actually, every year too, Matteo, gotta love it. All right. All right. Here we go. Luis Severino. Laddie Jr. That's a sick picture. Love it. I'm pretty sure I got this card. Oh. Sandberg, Rhino. Solaire. Hip hip hooray. Solaire. That dude hits bombs. Um, oh, here's a Kirsch. Not bad. Kershaw. Michelle Red Foil had a good year for LA. Still got to figure it out in the postseason. We'll see. Uh, here's his uh, counterpart on the uh, Nationals. And we got an Eddie Escobar. I think we got the auto. Did we? There was another auto that we got. An Eddie Escobar auto last time. And then uh, Gio Urshela, man. This dude just, he came out in the postseason. Uh, you know, that's the crazy thing about the Yankees is, you know, you never heard of this guy. He's supposedly just a defensive player, and then, boom, next thing you know, hitting grand slams <laughs> in the postseason, just crushing it. Um, so, they just got guys coming out of everywhere. The farm system is just nuts. Or they drafted from, I can't, can't remember his story with the Yankees, but I'm pretty sure, you know, he wasn't supposed to be the starting third baseman for them this year. Um, yeah, these cards are a little stuck together. Weird. All right, so Jake Fraley, rookie. Not, away. Not Boyd. Rough year for him in Detroit after the year he had before. Um, kind of tough to see that, but Tigers have got some young talent. We'll see some more of those guys. Hopefully the Central is usually a pretty easy place to play baseball. Tough, I mean, you know, baseball, all Major League Baseball is tough, but softer division. Uh, speaking of uh, Mr. Mondesi, Raul's son. This dude's a stud. Obviously had a really good finish to the year. We'll see where that goes. Um, Aaron Nola. I'm on now. Nola. Oh yeah. Say hey kid. Sick card. Love it. Love the old time cards. Oh, and even another legend, Bay Area legend right here. The wrong uniform, but I'll take it. Mr. Mark McGuire. Tyler Glasnow. Shut it down. Him and Cole went toe to toe in that uh, ALDS, right? Um a little sick matchup. And then Robbie Cano, don't you know? Love this guy. Love, watch, love the swing. That lefty swing is just gorgeous. All right. Getting to the end of this. So I know we got a couple hits in here. We'll get some number cards or something. Something else. Something extra. Um, Hank. Amber and Hank. Michael Baez. Trevor Story. This dude rakes. Oh, oh, we got some of these are stuck together. Weird. All right, here we go. Jalen Davis. Chip. This guy had a great year at the dish and in the playoffs. Stum out. Stum out. That was 100 miles an hour. Out of the 10. Good luck hitting that.
Brendan Rogers, Dudu, one time Oakland A, Eloy, Jordan, Dude Rakes, he'll be back. Uh, Clev Dog, The Goat, Tony Quinn. Man, this guy could hit. Just hit the ball. That's all you got to do. That's what he did. Nearly hit 400. Um, and Ryu. All right. We are at the bottom. Let's see what else we can get here. All right. Brian Anderson. Can man. Marcana. Labor Day, Labor Torres. Oh, all right. Seth Brown, rookie. Lark. What do we got? P. Corbin. Red foil. A catch. Catch dog. One time giant. Pittsburgh Pirate for life, right? Um, and uh, Sandy Koufax, all right. Three more packs. There's got to be two autographs per box. So we are down to the wire here. Down to the wire. One of these three. One of the two of these three. Okay. We got the Canadian, the Mountie himself. Gavin Lux. Oh, that's a that's a good one. That's a good one. Um, Barrios. Is it Barrios? Ichiro. Man, that would have been a dope auto. Get one of these. Um, oh, there it is. And we got a. That's a pretty good one, actually. Here we go. The unre unveiling it. Ah, uh, Lazardo. This is dope. I'm. I mean, being, you know, somewhat of an ace fan, I'd say this is a keeper right here. I mean, this kid is uh, doing it. He had a really good year on the mound. Got to work on that autograph. Um, but, you know, hey, I'll gladly take that. That's a rookie auto. Got to love it. Uh, right here. Get that in there. Nice, nice, clean, just a couple nice, clean corners on this card. Looks good. Um, let's see, what else? Throw it here in this. Sweet. Sweet, gotta love it. <sighs> Stick him back there. Oh. See if we can keep it. Keep a little rub a little luck on the bat. <laughs> uh, all right, like that. Oh, we had some more cards here. A dub. Oh, that's a nice little red foil. Look at that. Look at that hair. Funny. Yeah, good year. And Mazara. No ma Mazara. Cool. All right, we got one of the auto hits. Let's see, got another one in here. Oh, yeah, Luke Voigt, man, this dude. I'm sure St. Louis is like wishing they kept this guy around. This dude's just. Drops bombs. Sick. This is a sweet rookie card right here. The bow. Love it. Love that. Love that picture. Picture picture esque. That must have been. Um, I guess they they had them yeah. last year, right? Obviously, because there's fans in the stands. Um, JD, Oakland A. Rizzo, 
Oh, uh-oh. I think we got a pretty good hit right here. Okay, here it goes. Boom, Bidge. Gotta love it. Look at that. That auto is interesting. What do you draw his face and put a nose on it? What What is that? <laughs> Kevin, I mean, hey, I'll take it. This is a pretty sweet card. Is this a rookie card? Maybe it's not. It's huh. weird. I thought that'd be a rookie. Okay. So we got the Kevin Biggio. Auto. Not numbered. Get numbered ones every now and then. That's a nice add to the collection, though. I do like. I do like the. Uh, the picture, on card auto. Not bad. Not bad. Not bad for a box, Lizardo. I, I don't know why I'm thinking he was a. I guess he did have. Played in 100 games last year, so he's not a rookie. Yeah, wow. That's a good one. Two two good hits. I think Lazardo and Biggio can't go wrong right there. That's the future. It's the future of those two organizations, part of it. Okay, let's wrap this up. We've got Red Foil. Goldie, Ernie Banks, and a John Means, Baltimore Orioles. Right. We'll close the case on this. One last pack here. Ozzy Albies, Albert, Ricky, Keichel, Wilson Contreras, Cal Ripken, we got a, we got a Shane Bieber All-Star Game, right? We got our one in truck, Red Foil. Mr. Put it in the, go we'll pick it out of the ocean himself. And Dario. All right, not bad, not bad. Um, so just to recap, Jesus Lazardo, Auto, no numbers, no numbers. Um, still, definitely worth, definitely a nice pull. Um, and then we've got a Cabin Biggio. Pretty sweet card. Crazy looking autograph, not numbered. Um, so those were our two hits, along with an, uh, a crazy looking Daryl Strawberry. I mean, this is an error card, so I don't know if those go for anything these days, but whatever. Interesting, uh, interesting um, hit. And then an assortment of uh, rookie cards, um, which I'll penny sleeve these up. Rookie and red foil. Uh, probably the most prominent being the bow. No Lou Bob, Gavin. Jordan. Uh, you got a favorite, let me know. Always willing to trade. Um, you know, for sale. That kind of stuff. Uh, but um, just hit me up with a comment or, you know, ping me. Um... And we can we can talk about that. Anyways, um, thanks for checking the video out, guys, and and we'll have some more to come here in a few.